Hi, welcome to RoboJax. In this video, I'm going to introduce this capacitive touch 4 channel TTP224 by Ton Touch. This is a 4 channel capacitive touch that you can turn on and off. So when I press this button, you see the LED is on and also that LED is on. And when I press 2, 3, 4, so I'm going to show you how you can do this. This is an introduc introduction video for beginners, but I will have other videos that you can control relay and also you can make this as a lock. So you can press like 3, 4, 1, 1 or something with some combination to turn on and off something. So let's get started. So this is a four channel touch input and it has four buttons. So you have enough room for your finger to be touched. And also, so we have here six uh, pens. The six pens have been labeled as VCC, the first one, and then we have ground, and then we have uh, output one, two, three, and four. So this is output one, the first one, and then two, three, and four. And correspondingly for each output, we have also an LED. So this means that this can be used without Arduino or without anything. You just touch it and the light will go on. So let me show that first. So let me just connect it. So ground is the second one and that is the first one. So I have no connection, nothing. And so I connected the five volts here and then the ground. As you can see, when I press four, that's a fourth LED is on three, two, one. So these four LEDs, that, that's for button one, that's for button two, button three, and button four. So these four. So you don't need any, any uh, Arduino. You can connect this directly to a, a relay or something. Let's say you connect it to a relay and relay will turn on, which I'm going to create another video showing you how to control a relay with this one. But for now, we will just turn on the LED on the board. So when you press it, that LED, and also we will display text. So I'm going to show you that when you touch the four, the LED four will light, and also on the screen you will see four, and also when you press three, or two, or one, so the appropriate light will turn on. This is very basic one. The pins are connected, as you can see here in my first thing diagram. So this is connected to pin two because on the Arduino I don't have one is reserved for other purposes. It's safe to use. So here are the wires on my Arduino, as you can see here. So this goes to two, three, four, five. So two, this goes to two, and then brown goes to three, orange goes to four, and then white goes to five. So these four output goes like that. And also here on the first thing, also I properly put it. The five volts here comes from the Arduino. This five volts pen here, the five volts, and then the ground one. So this is connected to five volts and ground. So I've connected my five volts from Arduino. These five volts, the two are been connected. This line is for five volts. So on the breadboard, I use this one for five volts and this one for the ground. So it's connected on my breadboard. The red is on this side. So on the first thing, uh, uh, however, the red is at the bottom, so don't worry. I, I treated this line as my positive, so that is connected directly to the board. So that this is the touch capacitive board, and these are the buttons. I just represented them this way because I don't find the module. And here are the inputs. So I will also include this diagram for the output. <coughs> So the LEDs are connected this way. So the LED has, this is the negative, the short one, and that is the positive, the long one. Also showing you here. So the negative is connected, the short one is connected to the resistor, the positive is connected to the wire. So I'm just inserting it like that. So all of these have been connected. Now, the output to control those LEDs, 
So to control all these LEDs, I've connected them to the pen accordingly. So, so this is. So I've connected them to pen 10, 11, 12, and 13, respectively, to LED 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is button 1 will turn on this one, button 2, button 3, and 4. So they are connected to 10, 11, 12, and 13. You see button 1, I'm pressing it now, 2, 3, and then 4. They are connected to 10 and 4. So now let me show you the code. So this, this 200 millisecond determines how fast here it can read. You see, if I hold my hand on it, if I see, if I set my hand on four, you see how fast it can read it, if I set it on three. So the, f the smaller this number, the faster this reading will be, which make it crazy. So I would suggest not touch it, but up to you. So now here we set also serial monitor. This is the monitor. The baud rate is determined from the serial monitor, which you can, mm, by default, this will work. And then we also set the output, so pen 10, 11, 12, and 13, we are setting it as the output, and then pens for the input, pen 2, 3, 4, 5, and we just set them as the input. So this must be done in the setup, and then we just print this text, which prints at the beginning. Now, this is F condition from here to here, and then we have else condition from here to here. Inside the F, we say if the pin 2, this is the pin 2. If the pin 2 has an input, print this on the screen. It says button 1 touched, and also set the LED at the pin 10 high. So this will set it high, and then it waits for the LD, which is mentioned uh, here, 200 milliseconds. And then if there is no touch or anything, we just set the pen 10 or the LED low. If you don't do this, the LED will stay always on. So we must set it off. So this is for, for button 1. And the same thing for button 2, we just change it. So 2 become 3 because input is 3. And then the LED 10 become LED 11. So on and off. So here button 3, which is pen 4 and LED at the pen 11. 12 and button 5, uh, input 5 at the LED 13. So it just goes on and on and it just shows. So all the code for this uh, project will be posted on robojax.com. The link is at the description. Final result, as you can see here, I'm just pressing 1. And on the right side also you will see 2, 3, 4. If you press, uh, put your finger on both of those, this can happen. Two LED can go on. So this was absolute beginner introduction to the capacitive touch. My other videos are coming up. Please thumb up the video and also subscribe if you want to get updated. Thank you for watching.